Hey folks, Phil Beeman here. I'm gonna show you how to, or at least how I like to uh, take care of my weak hives by boosting them from a strong one. So I've got a hive here now, strong is a, is a relative term. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six frames of brood. So, and I got a hive over there with the lid upside down that's got probably less than one. So the first thing to do is you gotta find the queen and I've just done that. So here she is here, real nice looking queen. She is a Canadian queen mm -hmm. from 2020. And so I'm gonna leave her against the wall here. I'm gonna find a couple of frames of older brood. So, and what I mean by that is, you wanna boost a hive, you don't wanna give the young, weak hive, like larvae it's gotta look after for three weeks before it gets any benefit. You want hatching brood. So you can see here, this frame is already hatching out and being, get new eggs in the middle. So this whole outer circle is at the right age to start hatching out on both sides. Same here. So I'm gonna give it those two frames. And this hive is tragically weak. Um, now it's down to, oh, well, there's the queen. She's a 2021 queen. So I want to add, and you can see all that brood, uh, you know, it's about that big. So we want to try to match, like we don't want to have that brood here and then put our new brood over on the far side or something. We want to create a, some symmetry. So this brood is slightly skewed to the, on that way. So I'm going to put that frame in this way. That one's pretty symmetrical. And then we're going to have to add some adult bees to this as well. I figure a rule of thumb, about 50% of the bees that you move over, unless you move them to a new bee yard, will drift back to the original hive. So I'm gonna shake two more frames of brood into that hive. It's not, not critical to get every single bee because we're just putting it back in the hive. Okay, then we put our queen back where she belongs in the middle. Okay, and that's that hive dealt with. I'll clever that up in a minute. These bees will need to be smoked down a bit. Some folks call this uh, equalizing or boosting you're robbing from the rich and giving to the poor so that all of your hives have what they need to get ahead
Okay. So mm. now the other thing I'm going to do is show you the results from a, a different boost. This hive was decently strong but queenless. And so we put a sheet of newspaper. You can just see the edge of it here sticking out. And we put a weak one on top. And that was several weeks ago, I'm thinking. So let's see how that worked out. Now, it's not exactly a roaring success, but in this tough year, anything that's alive is good. So here we have a hive that looks symptomatic of a drone layer. You can see that most of the cap brood is drones. Now that could, oh, and there's our queen. So we gave her some help. And when she had finally had the bees to lay brood, she didn't have what it took. So that's the end of her. And unfortunately, we now have, I was hoping for a good hive here. You can see how the bees did come up. Uh, so there, nearly all those bees would have been in the bottom here before. But, uh, you know, you find a hive with a bad, or no bees, is it the bees fault or is it the queen? Clearly in that case, it was the bees. So now we're gonna do the same trick again. We're gonna put that on the bottom, shake these out, and take another one of the weak ones and paper it on top and try, try again. We'll shake these out in a minute. bees probably I mean you maybe even get away with this without the paper but why why chance it uh, because these guys had a queen they're not going to be crazy about jumping on a new queen okay so a couple pages for my Canadian tire flyer and I find it handy to Hold that down with some extra pollen patty. That keeps it from lifting off. Whichever way the wind is blowing. And then I'm just gonna lift up this hive here was previously identified as weak. Not terrible. That's pretty small. It's one. So we're gonna put that on top. The other thing the paper does is it keeps these bees confined for a day or two so that they don't all drift back right away. I always put the queen right hive on top, both to let the, both the bees and the heat rise up to the viable brood. It also helps me keep track of 
any markings. I know that it's the top box that has the, the history on the hive. I don't know the queen, but I do know that this was part of my one of my tests. And then a little bit of feed always helps the bees get along better. 